You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Last time we had you on Turf Talk, you were in the Under Armour All American game. Now you're the toast of the lacrosse world. I have to ask you, what the hell did you see on that play against Virginia? Oh, I don't know. I mean, a couple crazy saves for sure, but we kind of got to went on to the next. I mean, good team win today. Great team win. Our offense played awesome the first half. Defense played great in the second half. It was a good, good team win for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to tell you I got a compliment to pay you because I talked to Brian Rupel on Wednesday and he was at the presser mm -hmm. and he just said you've been such a help to him. Absolutely. And, and I knew that would be the case. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, for, a, for a freshman, there's been some mistakes, but... Yeah, I mean, it's hard being a freshman going right. out there at short notice like that. I mean, he's done a on and it's kind of been the story of him since he took over, especially against Virginia in overtime and then Notre Dame in the three overtime. He really had some great saves. How impressed have you been with his ability to bounce back, especially in the second half? Yeah, we, we love that about Brian. And, and, you know, when you recruit guys, you um, you, know, you kind of get to know them as people, um, you know, just have conversations and, you know, you talk to people who know them. Um, you know, he was coached uh, by Brian Reese, uh, Kathy's husband, um, and his club team. And, um, you know, just ask him questions, hey, what's he like, you know, and, he, you know, the, the things that we just kept hearing is that, like, he's very calm, cool, collected, regardless of, you know, what's happening in front of him. So if he gives up four or five goals, like, he doesn't change. Um, and I think that's, like, one of the most underrated things about a goalie is, you know, and a face-off guy is, you know, it's like a quarterback, like, you get beat, like, you got to walk out there like you're the man again. And, you know, that this this muscle sometimes takes over, right? And so he's been great, um, and he's kind of an even-keeled kid by nature. Um, and when he, when he comes off on the sideline, we have conversations. We just talk about things. Um, he's a lot like Logan, um, you know, when he does come off. We just talk. I never get too heated with him. I'll say, hey, what do you think? What about this? We'll talk about the clears. Um, and sometimes I just, you know, try to loosen things up a little bit and relax them. Uh, but he's hard on himself, but he can let things go, which I think is sometimes hard for, for a competitive person.